I just did a video not too long ago about the collision of Airbnb and AI. AI Airbnb. And basically it was called the fall of Airbnb hosts and the rise of AI. And I took you through five different tools that you could use to effectively replace yourself in your short-term rental journey. One of the really big things right now going around, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it's called ChatGPT. It's, it's Google search with the human brain. Absolutely insane the, the level and the quality of writing that has come out of the GPT machine. So this threatens me a little bit because I'm a copywriter at heart. That's what I did for work for many, many years. So what I wanted to focus on for today's video is writing an Airbnb listing to see how I could use my copywriting superpowers in collaboration with AI to create the best Airbnb copy out there. This is really important to me because a lot of people will come to me and they'll say, hey Rob, will you examine my listing? Will you take a look at it? I'm not getting any bookings. I'll open their listing and they have like one line of copy for their entire listing. And it's like, well, duh, no wonder you're failing. You haven't spent the time actually making the copy representative of how amazing the actual property is. So let's go inside and go head to head with ChatGPT and have a little bit of a copywriting brawl between human and artificial intelligence. Back upstairs just reviewed the footage from the intro. I gotta say, my backyard's a bit of a vibe. It's a kid's backyard. What do you want from me? Not always perfect. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do today. I am gonna take a listing that I already have up and running and I am going to basically punch it up, rewrite it to the best of my ability, and then I'm gonna try to rewrite it using AI to see how good it compares to mine. And then we're gonna collaborate and use AI to punch up mine and see if we can mix both of the worlds. Now, I've chosen my beach house in Crystal Beach. This is a home that I recently bought. I don't think we've done a video on this quite yet, but I wrote very bare bones listing copy for this particular particular listing just to get it up and running. Just looking at it, it needs a lot of work. So this is a good opportunity to show you that I still have it in me to bang out some good listing copy. So let's get started with the very first part of this, the title. That is like the most important piece of copy, in my opinion, because it sort of gives people the one headline to know about your property. All right, where am I listing here? I'm already frustrated. I got a 4.86. I got all five star reviews from every single one of my guests, except for the last guest left me five star, five star, five star on value. They gave me a four star. And for some reason, Airbnb counted that as a four star review, man. I've already pre-written my title here. I think it's a pretty good one. Beachy home just steps from the ocean, sleeps 22. The reason I put sleeps 22 here is because Airbnb does not allow you to select more than 16 people to stay at your property because they're trying to cut down on parties and stuff like that. So now what I wanna do is pop it into chat GPT and see how it stacks up against my headline. Can you write a title for my Airbnb listing that is no more than 50 characters. All right, so ChatGBT is all about the prompts that you give it. If you don't have good prompts, it's not gonna give you good results. So a lot of the skill with harnessing AI to do your evil bidding is just knowing how to communicate with the computer. I am Harvey, a computer. Jim sucks. <laughs> I think you wanna be relatively prescriptive. I don't think you wanna feed it too much, but I think for an Airbnb title, you might have to. All right, so let's get into it. So less than 50 characters. It has ocean views. It's three houses away from the beach. It is very spacious and can sleep 22 people. It also has an amazing cabana underneath. All right, so I just spent some time writing out this prompt. So now let's see what ChatGPT gives us for titles. All right, I want more than one option. Can you write 10 title options for my Airbnb listing? Okay, ready and go. It's going, it's thinking. That actually, it's taking a while. It's just threatened by me. Maybe it's like, oh, your, your title was already good. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Ooh, can I get 20 more? Well, let's see. Of course, here are 20 more casual options, boom. Just spits them out. I'm gonna just read you through some of the highlights here. Cabana and beach access, paradise for 22. I like that. Sleeps 22 with amazing ocean views, enough said. All right, dang, it's getting all casual. It's like, hey, now it's cocky. Computer's like, yeah, enough said, stay at my place. Bitch. So I think using ChatGPT is not necessarily just putting in a prompt and just using what it gives you. It, it is a process. I've just spent 20 minutes workshopping this and massaging it to fit what I think is a good Airbnb listing. I probably would not have gone through the exercise of spitting out 50 options the way that ChatGPT did. If I had, it would have taken me hours. But in this instance, what took me five hours just took me 20 minutes. 
Really quick, if you've been thinking about launching your first or your fifth or your 10th Airbnb listing, I'm super excited to announce the Launch Your Listing Challenge, which is my upcoming five-day live virtual event that you can attend from anywhere in the world. And we're gonna cover topics like picking your market and strategy, the automations needed to run a successful Airbnb business. We're gonna have the tax talk and teach you the ins and outs of the tax code so that you know how to save the most money on your taxes every year. And we're gonna talk about ways to break into the business without even owning property. By the end of my challenge, you will have all the tools you need. The only thing that will be stopping you is you. That's why we're doing this challenge so I can kick your ass a little bit and make sure that you actually follow through on starting and scaling your short-term rental business. So if you wanna join, meet and network with hundreds of other short-term rental hosts that are also chasing after their short-term rental dreams, then click the link down below and I will see you at the Launcher Listing Challenge. All right, now back to how AI is replacing humans. Now we're back to the listing description. Let's take a look at what I have written. Welcome to this stunning new beach house located close enough to see the beach from the comfort of your home away from home, but still quiet, peaceful, and spacious. Equipped with six bedrooms, 13 beds, a huge island-esque hangout area underneath the property, just look at the photos, and beautiful views from the wraparound porch, you and your family won't want to leave. Isn't that cute? I, I want to punch this up to be my typical format. So let me go to hop in the Joshua. Let me go to my Joshua Tree one just so I can see really fast. So here's my copy. My seaside escape has it all. Six bedrooms, 13 beds, a tropical hangout area, and board games for the entire family. Now it's time to see how ChatGBT fares for writing the description copy for about this space. This one's a little bit tougher because you have to feed it some information, kind of the way that I did for the title. But let's see how it fares. All right, so what I just did is I went to the listing when this house was for sale. I took the copy from the property description. And I'm gonna give that as a reference to ChatGPT. I actually did a pretty good job. Get ready to be wowed by this brand new six bedroom, three bathroom home with incredible beach views. Just steps away from the ocean, you'll be able to soak in the sunsets over the bay from the great decks. Inside, you'll be impressed by the two story soaring ceiling in the living room, an open kitchen with a large granite island, perfect for entertaining. The spacious floor plan is a proven rental generator with enough space to sleep 20 guests comfortably. The home will be furnished with stylish and comfortable pieces, making it the perfect beach escape. Don't wait, hear the beach calling your name and book your stay now. Okay, so it's kind of created this like pseudo <laughs> like for sale copy, but it's also not the about this space copy. The about this space copy is really meant to be like the selling point, just like a very quick overview of the property. What I felt like it just wrote me was the space copy, which is a little bit different. The space copy actually goes into detail about what the property is gonna have. I'm not gonna blame ChatGPT for this because it doesn't really know the difference. Let me see if I can zhuzh it up. What I actually like about this though, uh, let me see how many characters it is. Yeah, we're, we're, we're right around at 500. Welcome to your own private beach retreat, this brand new six bedroom, three bathroom beach house the perfect place to unwind and soak in the beach life. Love that, I'm gonna use it. Some highlights of the home include incredible views of the beach and bay, there is no bay, except me, I'm the only bay here. <laughs> Great decks to enjoy sunsets and relax. Love that. With large island. Perfect for family meals. How about that? Perfect for family meals. Spacious floor plan that seeps 22 guests comfortably. So what we have is a really great listing description and it, it took a little bit of finessing to get there, but I like this a lot. So I'm actually gonna use this. See, that's how you use AI, my friends. Welcome to your own private beach retreat, just steps from the sand. This six bedroom, three bathroom home is the perfect place to unwind and soak in the beach life. Some highlights of the home include, incredible views of the beach, great decks to enjoy sunsets and relax, open kitchen with large island, perfect for family meals, spacious floor plan that sleeps 22 guests comfortably, a tropical cabana area, located in one of the more private areas on the peninsula. Boom, we used AI to make ourselves better. We're better for it. Even Stink would say that stinks. Okay, now we're gonna get into the final part of your listing. We did the intro copy. I was calling it about this space. This is like the first part. But there's actually a, a section on your listing called the the space. And that's where you write more prescriptive copy about what to expect with your property. I've already pre-written mine, punched it up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert that into chat GPT, ask it to punch it up and make it funnier. All right, so now let's jump into it. Can you punch up the following copy and make it a little more comedic? That's all I'm asking it to do. I'm feeding it my copy. Here's what it came back with. 
Sure, here's a comedic version. Welcome to my seaside escape, the perfect place to host your crazy family. <laughs> That's funny. With six bedrooms, everyone can have their own space. Thank goodness. Oh my God. That's funny. Both master bedrooms have king beds fit for royalty, while the guest bedrooms are fit for, well, normal people with queen beds. <laughs> Chat GPT, you dirty dog. That's good. Gonna use that. But wait. There's more. We also have two bunk rooms for the little ones or for the grown-ups who just can't get enough of each other. <laughs> Ew, gross. I love it. The shared rooms are perfect for kids so parents can have some alone time. Or if you're feeling brave, you can all cram in together for a good old fashioned slumber party. Love that too. That's, that's, that's pretty cute. The open kitchen has eight additional stools situated beneath the large island because who wants to sit on the couch when you can perch on a stool? Not that funny. They, I can't expect AI to be as funny as me, okay? Step outside and enjoy the views from the wraparound porch. We've decked it out with electric blue chairs and bright pink paneling because who says beach houses have to be boring? Plus, the wooden paradise underneath the house is tiki chic. That's a thing, right? I love it, that's good. We don't offer cable, but each TV is equipped with the Roku for all your guilty pleasure. Go ahead, binge watch your favorite show. No judgment here. <laughs> All right, hold on. This is good too. All right. <laughs> it says, we also provide pack and play for the little ones because we're not monsters. <laughs> I love it. So what are you waiting for? Book your stay now and experience the chaos that is a family vacation. We promise it'll be memorable for better or for worse. Okay, chat GPT. I, I can't expect AI to be as funny as me, okay? In the arms of you done your thing, kid. You done real good. But as long as I'm around here, you always be second best, you see? That's actually not true. I'm the second best one here, because ChatGPT, that's actually funny. Kind of like go through these phases where I get annoyed with ChatGPT and then I kind of get a little scared when it's actually really good and then I get prideful. I'm like, oh, I'm better. And then I do it again and it's really good. I'm like, dang, like ChatGPT is actually really, really good. So that's it. I just showed you my process now, how I'm integrating AI with my own writing process and basically showing you how they come together. And as you can see, if I give the correct prompts, you can actually come up with some really, really good listing copy for your Airbnb, for your real estate listings or for your property listing. Whatever property copy you need, AI can be your assistant. Don't be too proud to use it because this is where we're at today, but in two months or in six months or in a year, I promise you it's gonna be so much better than where it's at today. So use it to your advantage, use it to be more efficient, use it to optimize your business. And if you do that, you're the one that's gonna be leaving other Airbnbs in the dust as you excel into short-term rental greatness because you're using AI. Well, that's all I got. But if you like this video on copywriting, we actually have a copywriting seminar every single month in host camp. It's one of a dozen that we have every single month. We have calls from writing listing copy to how to find a good realtor, to working with loan officers, to analyzing, comping, designing. A few moments later. We have ask a super host questions. We have a group coaching call with me. Really, we have over a hundred calls that are packed with value. And now when you sign up for host camp, you actually get lifetime access to my mentorship, which I think is pretty awesome. We've got over 1800 students. They're all finding a ton of value values, partnering up, helping each other find and comp amazing deals. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. So if that's interesting to you, head on over to hostcamp.com. Otherwise, I will catch you. Dang it, why do I always forget to mute my computer? Otherwise, I will catch you on the next episode of Raw Bill. Bye.